Hi there Aquarius, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at April 27 through May 3. And how time flies, we're already up to May. And this week we see Mercury, the communicator, moving into Gemini where he stays for a very long trip, uh, visit indeed, right through mid-July. Retrograding May 19 through June 11. Retrograding in your fifth house of romance, creativity, and self-fulfillment. So if you're already thinking, uh-oh, if you're already in a not-so-romantic spot with your other half and you're thinking about how to make changes or what to do, your answer is right around the cosmic corner. Mercury moves into Gemini this week, goes out of phase May 19. So you're going to be in a very talkative mood and if your partner is a Gemini it really is not only a perfect match but a perfect time to talk things out. You however are a fixed sign and stubborn and sometimes that means that you don't necessarily like to get into the hardcore emotional stuff as much and Geminis can often be rather a cool fish as well. So it's really important that you open up a dialogue that you can both participate in and both feel good about participating in. And once Mercury goes retrograde, any problems and issues you have will be magnified three times at least. And you'll really work out whether you're in it to stay in it or one foot in and one foot out the door type of thing. As well as Mercury being in Gemini and then retrograding later, there is a full moon in Scorpio, May 3 on Sunday. And it's an intense full moon. It's in a fixed sign of Scorpio. And it really will be quite one of those full moons where you will feel like I really need to stop whatever it is you need to stop. I need to come full circle. I need to come through with those promises made and with whatever I said I would do, I need to make sure that I do it because, you know, it's it's a good faith thing. And I'm sure that you know exactly what it is I'm talking about. And for you, it's going to be in your 10th house of career and ambition this full moon. So if you feel as if you've come full circle with your job, that you've got nowhere else to go but another job, you don't want to make a bilateral move. You, you know, you would like to stay within the company, but you feel as if you need a much more challenging job, better pay rise, a promotion to be more recognized. This is really a time when all of these thoughts will come to you and you'll realize that you have to do something about it, that you can't just let things go along the way they've been going along because nothing changes until change you know you have to make a change to make a change like people seem to think that they can just keep going and complaining and moaning and groaning and that something's going to happen like you'll win the lottery or your you know your boss will keel over and you'll get the job or something like that it's not how it works and it's more about you just deciding that, you know, things are not the way you want them to be and you've got to look after yourself and you've got to make sure that you are keeping reality in check and that you're not, you know, just uh, you're stuck in a rut and just seeing each day through and being thoroughly miserable at the end of the day. And you'll know if you are, if you really are honest with yourself. Sometimes it's very difficult. If you're being at a place working, you've got friends there, you're getting well paid, it's not easy to just quit that and walk away. It takes a brave person. But you're brave. You're one of the bravest people in the Zodiac, so you can do it. Have a great week. Great speaking to you. And I do look forward to speaking to you again next week.